you could get away, didn't you? Well, nothing gets away from the craft hand. Now I'm going to show you how to make this cool superhero. Let me put him down over here. And then I'm going to show you what you'll need. A toilet roll. Yeah. A piece of toilet paper. A small piece of normal paper. Brushes. Some paint. Markers. Ruler. What else? Yeah. Cutting knife. Some glue. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, come on closer and let's get started. We start with the toilet roll, folding it, uh, folding the top bit, uh, the top sides rather, in like this. Look at this, look at this. Fold nice and slowly. Don't rush it. So that the two ends will meet in the middle. So slowly we just move them in like this. Keep on squeezing a bit here and there. And then try to make a nice curve, a nice curve like that. Uh, so you gotta keep on squeezing and pushing and using your nails a bit maybe. Uh, so that <clears throat> these two halves uh, meet uh, in the middle. Now, sometimes they overlap. But if they do, uh, that, that's okay. I mean, you know, overlapping is all right too. But the best is if you can make the meat in the middle. So you gotta work at it a bit. Now, when you're starting to feel that the shape is good, look at that, a nice curve here, a nice points here at the tip. That's when you got it right. Then get your glue out and then put quite a lot of glue in the middle quite a lot and then use your finger to spread the glue out the glue will also strengthen the the tips to make them stronger and more durable uh, if there are any cracks like like this you know put some glue in there squeeze a bit try to close the cracks and make it nice and solid there you see, when the glue dries, it will make, it will sort of fill in the cracks here and make everything a bit more uh, smooth. Now, the way to hold these uh, parts together is to use a little bit of uh, tape. And then stick it on this side and then squeeze them together and then stick it on the other side. Don't stick the tape too hard because then it's hard to get it off again because this tape will be removed when the glue is dry. So wipe off the excess like that. Stick in a little bit, see if something sticks out. There, now it should be a, a perfect uh, 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 curve shape here. Like this, here's one that I made earlier. I have removed the tape. Now you can see it's all dry here. Uh, and the, the glue has filled in the little gaps here. You see, when it's dry, you can also use your, your fingers and your nails to sort of um, shape it a bit. Now it's easier to shape, actually. So if you're not happy with uh, how the shape has dried, you can, you can squeeze and shape it a bit um, after it's dry. So now I'm squeezing in here, making sure that I get these really sharp tips on each uh, side. There. Now we are ready to open up the mouth. I use a ruler and a marker and I measure 2 cm from the top of the curve here down 2 cm there and then I draw a straight line. Well as straight as I can. So straightish sort of line here. 
to about this big. And then I measure. I measure 3 cm from the end there. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I gotta do it a little bit uh, longer. Oh, now I see that my, my, my line isn't really straight either, so I straighten it up a bit. And I make it a little bit longer. Is it 3 cm now? Yeah, it's just about 3 cm. So that's what I need. Then I take my cutting knife and uh, like that, so it's a long blade there. Now be really careful when you uh, uh, cut with a cutting knife, preferably get an adult to help you. Uh, and in any case, cut really nice and slowly, back and forth like this, uh, along the line, see? Very, and, and, and don't cut everything in one go, cut several times. Because uh, if you cut several times, eventually the knife will go through in a very safe and good way. So now I stop right at the end there. And I do the same thing here. Now I have a nice straight cut. Then I'm going to open the mouth. Look at this. I start pushing it in here. At the same time, I squeeze a bit on the sides and I use my fingernail to shape the mouth. The mouth should be, and you can also control by sticking a finger in here, you can also control how far down the mouth uh, should go. So now I'm squeezing a bit to sort of try to shape it into an, as nice mouth shape as possible, like this, like that. Squeeze a bit on the side. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good mouth. And now we are ready to paint. I'm gonna use a bit of uh, light yellowy brown paint, sort of slight, uh, slightly toilet colored uh, paint, and paint the whole thing basically. Inside the mouth, on the edges, on top. By the way, uh, make sure you get quite a bit of paint inside the little cracks. Paint somehow, uh, evens out of the, the, little, the little cracks on top there. So uh, it's quite nice to get a lot of paint in there. Um, now here's a little uh, trick for you. You know, when you're painting a thing like this, sooner or later you will get paint uh, on your um, fingers. Because you need to hold the thing somewhere. But with a roll you can put your fingers in uh, like that so that you avoid getting paint on your fingers. So you paint the whole thing. Usually you gotta do it twice. That means you give it one coat of paint, then you dry it, then you give it another coat of paint. Uh, because usually one coat of paint doesn't really cover the whole thing. That means you can see uh, the color um, from underneath. So just be patient when you paint. There you go, we put it here to dry. And here's one that I painted earlier. Now it's all dry, so we can put this away. And we can continue uh, working on this one. I get my blue paint out, and with the blue paint we are going to paint the, the mask. I'm using bright blue. Uh, not only bright, but very strong blue. You see, this uh, brown is a bit uh, yellowy and a bit light. That means uh, the, the blue paint is darker and stronger in contrast. That means between this blue and this uh, yellowy brown, there is a, there's a nice contrast. And that's what we need to make it look good. So, I'm going to go carefully around the mouth. I'm using quite a thin uh, brush so that uh, uh, I can I can get a, a thin line uh, down here. The line should be about this thick, and then go up on each side. Well, let me do the mouth first. Here's the mouth. Okay, see the line goes up. So it goes up and up on the on both uh, sides. It goes up like this, and then it 
we go straight across the back until the paint meet on the back. See, by doing it like that, we get a nice shape to the mask. These are acrylic paints, and when they dry, they um, turn to plastic, basically. Same like the glue, so they give that strong um, layer uh, uh, around the cardboard, making it strong. Acrylics are uh, water soluble uh, when they're wet and then when they dry they are waterproof so they're really really good to use okay doing the last bit up here now and the same as the body it needs to be painted twice to get a really even and nice strong layer so now you have the mouth in here you have the mask all around the head like this like that and let's get in that I painted earlier. That is dry now. Here's the dry one. Okay, let's clear this away. This is painted twice. And look how even and strong this looks now. That's, that's the way to do it. Okay, uh, let's continue painting. Uh, we'll stick with the small brushes because we are talking details here. Uh, we get the, the red out. That's for the mouth. Okay, so we start in here. Uh, be really steady on your hands. Yeah, and then you twist your brush a bit there. Uh, okay, how does that look? Yeah, I think I make the red, uh, the, the red inside of the mouth a little bit bigger. Basically, when I'm painting now is the inside of the superhero's mouth. It's a little bit tricky because I don't want to touch the, the upper lip there. And when that's dry, you should also paint that twice. Basically, basically everything you paint uh, twice to make it strong. Okay, next color, light yellow. Ooh, that's a nice color. And look how well this color go with the body color. Now I'm gonna draw the superhero logo on the chest. So we start with painting uh, a little circle. About this big, like that. And then we let it dry and then we give it another coat. Now it's dry so that we can add another layer you want this thing to look good and sharp there now while this layer is drying I'm going to show you how to draw the eye and the eyes are two tiny circles about this big with a black circle around it Basically, I'm making the line, the outer line, really nice and thick. That is to create a um, very strong, dramatic eyes. And making the black color provide contrast between the white eyes and the brown uh, body. Then we'll cut them out. Now, when you cut, well, the best is if you can get help from an adult. If you need to cut yourself, make sure that you always cut away from where you're holding your fingers. See, I'm holding here and I'm cutting away from my fingers so that I, if I, if I should go, oops, see, it doesn't cut my finger. So you always cut away from your finger and do it nice and slowly. Don't rush because I don't want you to cut yourself. Now, if you have a scissors, use the scissors in fact I mean I'm so used to cutting but when I use the scissors here I notice that it's uh, actually almost easier but it, it, it depends I mean if the eyes were a bit bigger uh, or you have shapes that are more straight then the knife is actually easier than the scissors so you have to you have to decide there now let's stick them on in with a bit of glue. I take a little bit of glue on my 
on my fingertip a little bit and on it goes. Now you can decide if you want your eyes further apart or closer together, higher up, lower down. Take some time to, um, to decide which one looks good to you. Now don't worry about spilling a bit of uh, glue because it, when it's uh, dry it, um, it's uh, clear. Uh, if it looks messy, just use a bit of blue to touch up again. As soon as uh, the yellow is dry, we can paint in the logo. For the logo, I'm using a small pointy brush and the same blue paint as I used for the, um, the mask. Now, there's a little bit of paint on the tip of the brush like that. Not too much. In fact, point it a bit like that so that you get a very fine, fine line. Now, what shall I call him? How about Toilet Man? Because he comes from the toilet. So the logo will be... Pay attention to this. Dip again. W, and can you guess what? C, yeah, WC, that's a nice logo. Now, uh, I start with a thin line and then I make it a little bit thicker. This is precision work, ladies and gentlemen, so be careful and uh, keep a steady hand. Notice how I support my hand against the table, you see? I support this against the table and my hand against the table so that there's no shaky, um, out of control movements. There! WC Toilet Man! And now, for the cape! And what do you think I'll make the cape from? Well, how about toilet paper? Yay! <laughs> what else? Okay, a piece of toilet paper, you can make it shorter, longer, it's up to you. I think this length is uh, quite nice. Um, I make a little fold, about this thick. And on this fold, I put a little uh, stripe of glue. There, carefully, I take the stripe and I, in the middle, oh, a bit higher up, that was a bit low, higher up there, I wrap the cape around, straight around the neck of our superhero, like that and like this. And never mind if you spill a little glue. When it's dry, you can paint over it with blue color. Then I hold it until uh, the paper starts to stick down well. Okay, it's reasonably dry. Then we lift it up and we unfold the cape. And by magic, the cape stands up by itself. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Da -da -da -da! Toilet man to the rescue! <laughs> oh no! It's Toilet Man! Let's escape! <laughs>
Oh, you there? Well, um, today uh, we're gonna make the prankster. He's also a superhero, but a bit on the naughty side. Aren't you prankster? Well, anyway, this is what you're gonna need to make the prankster. You're gonna need some uh, paints, some brushes. You're stuck. Well, uh, you're gonna need some brushes, uh, a toilet roll, of course, um, cutting knife, markers, a ruler, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, a piece of paper, a little bit stiff, and of course, finally, uh, glue. Glue? Why is the glue glued? Oh, it's totally. Let me. I'm gonna. It's stuck. Well, thankfully, I got a small one over here. <laughs> you don't fool me. Okay, uh, so uh, glue. Mm, yeah, everything should be ready. And come on closer and let's get started. We start with the toilet roll. Take the ruler, uh, marker. Then we're gonna measure from the top 3 cm down like that. There we make a straight line, roughly like this, as straight as possible. About this long, roughly. One, two, yeah, now it's slightly too long, but that's just fine. Then I bring on the knife and I'm gonna cut along here. But here we need to be very, very careful. So we keep our fingers away from the sharp knife. So one way is like to hold on this side, so you, the, the, the knife uh, is uh, further away from you. So start with cutting very, very light and slowly and controlled. And then I stop a little bit before the end of the line, because remember the line was a little bit too long. So I start here again, I do a second cut uh, down to the same spot. And a third cut. The reason why I cut so many times is so that is so that you know I do it nice and controlled. I don't try to cut through the cardboard all in one cut because then it can get difficult and and hard to handle the knife as well as the cardboard. You need to be careful when you when you cut. Okay, so now I made the cut and I'm gonna open the mouth. You do that by pushing here and then putting your thumb or your finger through here and then squeezing a bit on the side. You see here now, there's a nice nice curve for the mouth, squeezing a bit here. Ooh, perfect. Uh, if you need to, you can use a fingernail to rub a bit and further shape the mouth really nicely. Well, it's quite good. Okay, then I'm gonna put a, a cap for the head. So I use a stiff paper. Marker again, draw a line around the head, like that, and then I cut that out. Here I can continue to use the, the, <clears throat> the knife, cutting slowly along uh, the line and then moving this, turning this around, so I always cut the way uh, from my hands, or you can use these scissors. It's up to you, and it's also up to how thick the paper is. If the paper is really thick, it may get hard uh, to uh, cut with the scissors. Okay, then I glue the head, the cap onto the head. Actually, you know, I could, I could glue just like this, or sometimes easier, you know, I, I put a little glue on my on my fingertip like this and then I just go along the edge like this. That's sometimes easier than to handle the bottle. See how easy this is? There! Put the cap on, which becomes the head of the prankster. Okay, let's see how it fits. Oh, it fits perfectly. Push it down. And then there's always a bit of surplus of glue around the edge, so you wipe that off with your finger, like that. You might as well from the start accept that your fingers are gonna get uh, a bit glued up. 
but it's good to have a bit of paper to wipe with once in a while so that you keep your fingers clean okay so now this one needs to dry so hey lucky for me I have a a finished one uh, finished dry one over here uh, and notice that I have actually trimmed the the, the, the top uh, cap as well can you see here that sometimes the the, 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 the cap here will um, will stick out a bit like here then I take the knife after it's dried of course and I I trim it a bit so that it becomes like this flush with the with the paper roll and uh, really nice and uh, perfect around the, uh, the top here okay then we paint it we paint it white I'm using acrylics soluble in water and and waterproof when it's dry now by painting I, I do two things I change the color to white of course because the prankster has a uh, is basically a, a white color but I also strengthen the cardboard because you see this cardboard can be a bit fragile and soft but when you paint it the paint dries into a a strong uh, plasticky surface it, it dries uh, uh, you know into some kind of hard plastic so so when it's dry it, it, it helps the whole construction of this figure to be much stronger I'm gonna show you in a second how it works okay anyway so we paint the whole thing white and <clears throat> then I'm going on to um, uh, moving on to holding it like this because then I avoid getting too much paint on my fingers just a little bit and I also have to paint the edges here then the edges also will be much stronger when the paint dries you see painting the top as well now when you paint you normally paint two times or even three times to get it fully uh, covered it, it depends if you have a darker surface underneath and you have a, a, a lighter paint on top uh, it usually takes two or three uh, coats of paint to uh, to to, uh, to make it cover completely like you can see on this one that is finished this one I've <coughs> painted um, twice some places I've even painted three times to make it totally totally uh, uh, white so I put the wet one over here okay so this is our starting point and uh, we bring out the red thin brush let's see um, oh yeah that's a nice thin brush here little bit of paint right on the tip not too much paint you see just on the tip here because we are going to do details we are going to do the lips the prank Pranksters got uh, thick lips like a clown. Okay, so I go carefully around the edge of the mouth, but not into the mouth. Inside of the mouth is kept uh, white. Here I just go nice and slowly, taking my time, being patient. and keep on turning the, the toilet roll you see instead of turning yourself you turn the toilet roll this makes it much easier and notice that I'm supporting the toilet roll against the, and my hand by the way against the tabletop as well as this hand because when I support both hands they will be uh, sturdy and steady and you can much easier control your brush and make beautiful lips for the prankster okay now I got the lips uh, I'm gonna do the jacket uh, the jacket is like a V shape from the middle down here somewhere starting about here going up on the side of the mouth like that and the other shape and the other side I mean Uh, 
there. You see, that becomes the long pointy chin of the prankster. That, and then the jacket sort of by, by the side of the mouth, it curves up a bit. A little bit up. Same on this side, a little bit up. And then across. So here from here, right across. There. Now when you have the shape right, you can just fill in the rest really quickly. So here I just fill in the, the whole jacket of the, of the prankster. There. Now this uh, layer two needs to dry and then you do it twice to cover properly to get a nice even uh, coat of paint. Um, <clears throat> but before we do that, I'm gonna do the uh, other colors. So we move on to the eyes. And for the eyes, I need another small brush and black paint. Just paint on the tip, see? just the tip. Don't dip it too much, because or else it's gonna get messy. So just the tip. Then right above the mouth, draw two round black eyes. They are just round black circles. Again, support your hands so you get, uh, get nice control over your brush and your fingertips. There. Now for the next color, the blue. Another fine brush like this. Again, dip just the tip and then the hair. Okay, so we start with the middle between the eyes, a little pointy shape going down like that. You see, when you do a pointy shape like that by the eyes, that contributes to the evilness of his expression, you see? Because he gets a sort of mean, mean eyebrow. Uh, they're not really eyebrows, but you get that sort of feeling of these mean eyebrows, and then down, into a point on the side here and then up again like that. Same on the other side, nice and slowly. There, like this. And then we go straight across the back, back of the hair. And the top. And every time you put on the coat of paint onto the figure, it becomes stronger because the paint makes the cardboard stronger and the surface stronger. Like that. Now, I'm really lucky because I have a dry one over here, see? <laughs> so that we can continue right away to uh, do the rest. Now, let's start with the teeth. For the teeth, I just use a, um, a black marker and notice that I'm gonna push out the mouth a bit first because you know sometimes that becomes the inside of the mouth uh, and it needs to be you know pushed in but now it's the teeth so I'm gonna push it a little bit forward so it's like that yeah better okay I start with a line straight down the middle of the teeth like that, straight down. And all the way up. Then two lines down on each side. So one line down and another line down. Make sure it goes all the way up. This is precision work, people. So um, keep supporting. You see how I support my hand, even with my little finger like that, so that on the table, so that I keep my line steady. There. Okay. Then one line across. Down here. Hey, evil grin. Okay. Then I'm going to do the eyes. And for that, I just need a small brush and some white. Because now I'm going to do the evil pupils in the eyes. And 
another one right in the middle. Now you may need to dry them and then do it twice. Um, I'm not sure uh, how well uh, you know that works out for you, but usually I, I do it twice to make sure they're really uh, white. In the meantime, while they're drying, I'm going to do the spots on the jacket. So here, now I fill my brush with more paint. You see, I load it with more paint because I'm just going to dab uh, dots. So for the dots, you don't need so much precision. That means you can have more paint on your your uh, the tip of your brush and just dab like that also uh, because the paint is quite thick here it takes a while to dry so make sure you dry them well before you continue to work on your prankster figure now another thing if you are impatient and you want to work faster use a hair dryer normally i don't use so much hair dryer at home but for uh, for uh, for drying time I have a hair dryer and I can speed up the drying time considerably if I'm in a, a, a hurry. You see the dots patterns basically makes things more cheerful, makes it more fun. You know clowns and all kinds of festive fun you know figures or themes they always use a lot of patterns in, in bright colors so that's why I choose the dots to make him a bit more sort of funny and crazy and clowny. Okay, that should be that should be enough. Let's look at the eyes. Are they dry? Because they're not going to stay white. You see, I'm going to put on yellow. So another um, thin brush. I'll just dip it in the um, in the cap here. Okay, just a little bit, just a little bit. Then I touch up the pupils. You see, I couldn't go with yellow straight away onto the black because the yellow doesn't cover very well. White covers well, so I, 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 I put on white first, that covers out the black, and then I put the yellow on top, and the yellow eyes become really bright. Now, <laughs> all of a sudden, we got two pranksters. <laughs> Pranks coming your way. <laughs> okay, see you next time. I'm glued. Well, see you next time. I'll be here. I'll be here. Hi there, folks, and a big thank you for always coming back to my art studio, watching me do great things from toilet rolls. Yes, because today is another toilet roll and we are going to make bananas. A regular uh, cute college kids uh, during day but at night he turns into turbo bananas running around in his uh, crazy uh, car. Now this is what you need. Not one but two toilet rolls and they're slightly different sizes. One is bigger and fits outside the other. You see, toilet rolls aren't all the same. They come in different sizes. Keep collecting until you find one that go uh, on, the, on the outside of the other. Now, then you need um, a piece of stiff cardboard. Yeah, cardboard, uh, some brushes, a uh, craft knife, ruler, pencil, um, some paints, um, glue, and what else? Anything else? Uh, yeah, a little bit of sandpaper can be handy. Now, come on closer and let's get started. We'll start with the smallest uh, toilet roll, making the body of uh, bananas. Now, first we need uh, to make a lid and we draw around the, the tube here 
that's the lid and then we cut it out be careful when you cut always cut away from your fingers look at how I keep turning the the cardboard around so that I always cut away from my fingers there almost a perfect circle then we glue that on top <clears throat> first I take a bit of glue onto my fingertip Add it on to the edge of the toilet roll. There. Then I just wipe the excess glue off. Wipe my hand a bit. Now this needs to dry. And luckily for me, I have a dry one right here that I made earlier. Now notice that the edges are sticking out a bit because you know it's quite impossible to make a perfect fit right away. So you get this sort of scruffy edge that sticks out. Then to make a nice polished uh, figure you take your craft knife, take the blade out and then carefully chip away so that you get a clean uh, neat edge. As usual, notice that I'm cutting away from my fingers. Never cut towards your fingers. Then, to really polish it off, use a sandpaper. Now, you don't really have to do that, but if you do, it will sure be a nicer finish. And that's what I like to do. I like to have a really nice finish. So, go like this, as you turn your roll, and then do one on top as well. So you get these sort of rounded edges. Nice and smooth, nice and rounded. If you do a good job, it will end up like this. Look at this, oh nice, nice and smooth. That's great starting point for our uh, superhero. Then we'll paint it white, sort of medium large uh, brush, and then we paint. Now I use acrylic paints, they soak into the cardboard, making the whole thing much stronger and of course uh, white and uh, very uh, pretty. Now the reason why I paint white first is to give a nice foundation for the yellow color. That means that the yellow color will look brighter uh, and more intense than if I paint yellow directly onto the, um, to the gray cardboard. Luckily, I have one that is already finished and painted, so I can put the wet one away and continue to teach you how to do this stuff. Here I have painted twice, that means one layer, then I dry it, and then another layer, then I get a really nice, beautiful, white, shiny um, finish. So onto here, uh, we will um, cut the mouth. Now, the mouth is... 3 cm down from the top. So the top is where you have the lid. 3 cm. There. Make a mark. And then uh, draw uh, a straight line as straight as you can. Is that straight? Yeah, roughly there. And then measure again. It's supposed to be 3 cm. So uh, 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, quite perfect. Then we make a cut. So take the blade back and then very slowly, very neatly make a straight cut along the line. I don't try to go through the cardboard right away. I cut several times, being careful to control the movement every time. Once I'm through, I'm careful to to stop right at the 3 cm uh, mark there at both sides okay that should do it then we open up the mouth you do that by pushing in the middle and then squeezing a bit on the sides so here like that so here now a nice mouth and then you can also stick your finger in inside and then control how big uh, you want the mouth to be keep working at it a little bit keep squeezing a bit and then adjusting adjusting until 
you have a nice uh, curve for your for your mouth there now we can paint it yellow now in fact I want to draw on the eyes first here are the eyes one and two now this is how you can use a pencil to draw the eyes but I have something else to show you a eye tool I made this tool by you know cutting a piece of um, of um, toilet roll and then opening it up uh, here and then making a couple of um, eyes really perfect and now I can use this for all my figures I can just put it over here over the mouth like this adjust it this way up <laughs> and then just draw like this here's one eye here's the other eye Okay, now we are ready to um, add on the paint. Bright yellow, medium sized brush. I have added a little bit of white into this bright yellow uh, paint to make it uh, look more even as you uh, uh, apply it. So you apply it everywhere except for the eyes. So inside the mouth, on the body of course, and once you go around the eyes, uh, make sure you give it some extra space because you need quite a lot of white, uh, you need the eyes to be quite big. And then make sure you do the details like the edge of the mouth and inside here, inside the corners. You know, take some time doing it properly. Okay. And then I dry this and then I do it twice. Then I have a really strong uh, <clears throat> bright yellow layer of paint. And then it will look like this when it's dry. Look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? And then. We continue with a smaller brush and white. Can you see here? There, this is where we draw the, the lines for the, the eyes. But we want the eyes to be bigger than that. So I will whiten out, cleaning up the pencil marks, making sure the eyes are really all white. There. Then we'll add red for the mouth. Small brush again. all the way inside but not all the way out so the mouth the shape of the mouth is actually bigger than the shape of the red that i'm painting the red goes sort of inside the shape there now this needs to dry for a little while there nice and dry then we continue with the black lines. I'm dipping my brush into uh, black paint that is a little bit diluted with water so that uh, the, the lines are easier to, um, to um, well, they flow easier basically. Okay, so now we need to work really steady, adding a nice ring around the, uh, the eye here. Just dip the tip of the brush so that you avoid the big mess. And then in the middle, pupils, one, two, slightly cross-eyed to make him look a bit uh, cute. And then uh, bananas also have this sort of um, spark, you know, uh, call it whatever you like, uh, eyelids, uh, you know, <laughs> this uh, star shape here. Uh, one, two, and three on one of the eyes. Yeah. Quite nice. Then we need the, the B for bananas on the chest, the superhero logo. So we start with a black circle there. And now this needs to dry. Next, I bring in my white paint and this finest, smallest brush that I have. So I dip it in, not too much, only uh, at the tip there. Then I will uh, draw carefully the B for bananas, the logo. All the heroes needs some kind of logo, at least that's what I think. And uh, the chest is a very suitable place. Now, during daytime, you know, bananas is a regular college boy. And then the B kind of just looks like a college sweater or something. But of course, at night with his helmet, then you can see that it's a real superhero uh, bee. While the bee dries, let's um, take the helmet from the other one and then see if it fits. 
Oh yeah, very nice, very nice. Now, let me show you how to make the, the helmet. For that, you need the other toilet roll. Remember the one that was uh, bigger, so it fits on top here. And then we are going to um, make the, the, the shape by turning or pressing the, the top towards the center, creating a nice curve on each uh, side like this. So you just keep on pressing so that they meet in the middle and then closing the gap there as much as possible. Just keep on sort of forming and molding the, the cardboard. The cardboard is quite soft that it's easy to, to, to shape with your, with your fingertips. Squeeze the, the edges on top there as well. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, the curve should be as nice and even as possible on each side and about the same um, level. Then we take glue and lots of it, so squeeze out quite a lot of glue. The glue that I use is a kind of a paper slash uh, wood glue, it can, uh, can glue just about anything. So I smear it out, uh, closing the gap with the glue and then smearing it a bit out all over the top because the glue soaks into the cardboard making the cardboard stronger also the edges if you want to make the edges stronger just put a little bit of smear a little bit of glue on the edges here and uh, and the tips here then they will be stronger uh, as well then you wait for it to dry that can take a while so <laughs> luckily I have one here that I glued earlier and is all dry. So the, you see the glue glows transparent like this. This one, we need to um, make the eyes. So I bring out my eye tool again. Remember my eye tool? And, uh, and before I do that, we need to measure where the eyes sh should be. As you can see from the helmet, the eyes from the top, from the top of the, the curve there, it's one cm. So you got to mark from the top of the curve, you mark 1 cm, so that's the levels of the eyes, and so I put this on, yep, yeah, it's up on that level there now, and then position in the middle, there are the eyes, and of course, if you don't have this tool or don't want to make it, you can of course go by uh, eye measurement just uh, draw uh, you know a line for 1 cm and then you carefully draw two circles then we cut to do the cutting I have a smaller knife you see here's the big one there's a the small one sometimes it can be good to take a smaller <coughs> toilet roll and stick inside here so that you get some support so you get some support on this side and then you are supported on that side as well and you carefully Cutting, always cutting away from you. You cut along the line. Don't rush it, cut several times. And of course, I do recommend highly that you get an adult to help you with this to be absolutely safe. Okay, let's see. Yay! One eye's out. <laughs> let's do the other one. There. Hey, oops. Not completely through yet. Okay, there we go. There. Now, it tends to look a bit scruffy in the beginning. That's when you need a pencil or something, something round, so that you can rub around inside the eyes, like that. Can you see the difference? See here, I'm sort of rubbing at the edges. You see? Now, they look a lot better than without the rubbing. Uh, we're going to do some more rubbing uh, later after we paint. But first, let's uh, cut off the um, size of the helmet. As you can see here, we it's about that size so we can measure 3.4 cm so you measure 3.4 cm from the same spot there and i have another handy tool here look at this a normal toilet roll opened it because now you can pop this inside and you use this as a ruler is it you put it by the mark and then your pencil and it's a ruler to uh, get a straight line all around your, your uh, cardboard tube. 
Uh, this cutting is quite easy. Just follow the line and then keep turning the tube. There. Then sandpaper is handy. Get rid of the scruffy stuff. Nice. If you get loose uh, stuff like this, that sometimes happens in toilet rolls, get the glue out and then fill these gaps with glue and very soon you have a nice whole roll again. Okay, let's paint. In with the black paint, medium sized brush and start up here. I'm quite generous with my paint. Also make sure you get paint inside the edges here. That will also make the edges stronger. And then use your finger to wipe off the paint inside the eyes here. Can you see there's some paint inside? So that not big lumps of paints get uh, dries in there, you know, uh, making it hard for the body to go in later. Okay, like that. Now, when you're done, you will end up with the helmet <laughs> looking like this. Now, let me show, show you another trick to uh, make the eyes really perfect. You take your pencil again and then you rub. After the paint is dry, you rub and then you sort of make sure you get really round and nice eyes and that the edges are really smooth and nice. There. You may have noticed that this helmet is shinier and glossier than this one. That's because I have added a little uh, layer of lacquer. Now that's all up to you. If you want to put on a bit of uh, acrylic lacquer on top, that's, uh, that's fine. If not, you can also use the matte one. Okay, so let's pop it on and uh, see what it looks like. Hey, perfect. Now, shall we go for a spin in the superhero car? All right. In you go, Turbo Bananas. Turbo Bananas, to the rescue! <laughs> hey, what do you think of this cool rocket superhero car? <laughs> Hey, let me uh, show you how to make it because I think all superheroes need a superhero car. What you're gonna need is a long uh, toilet roll. Actually, this is more like a kitchen roll, you know, from, from one of these, you see, <laughs> kitchen roll. If you don't have this kitchen roll, use uh, two uh, normal uh, toilet rolls and stick them together with the tape or glue and it's about the same. Uh, length. Then you also need a shorter, no not a shorter, a normal toilet roll and it needs to be smaller so that it fits inside here, you see? It's got to fit inside here because if you collect these you will see that some of them fit inside, fit inside each other. Not all of them are the same um, diameter. Okay, so you need do these two. Then you're going to need a piece of black paper that is a bit stiff like this. And you're going to need a paper clip, cutting knife, uh, ruler, pencil, a um, little bit of tape, brushes, some paints, what else? Glue, of course, glue, you need glue, glue. Okay, that should be all. Yeah, that should be all. Okay, um, let's get started. We start with the kitchen roll, painting it white. Now, the reason why we paint it uh, white is to provide the base color for the car, but also to make it uh, stiffer and stronger because the cardboard absorbs the paint and then the whole shape becomes uh, stronger. Now, to avoid getting paint on my fingers, I uh, hold the roll with two fingers like this and then I just very carefully paint to the edge. Now when it's finished it needs to dry and then you put on a second coat of paint to make it totally even and nice like this one. Okay so this one is totally dry. Let me clear off the white paint 
and uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, shape the car. You see, the car is sort of pointed and um, and uh, very aero aero uh, aero aerodynamic <laughs> aerodynamic in the front. So we have to uh, pinch it here to create that cool shape and since we have painted it and it's uh, the cardboard is stronger so now it's kind of easier uh, to uh, make the correct shape so as you can see i keep on squeezing here and here and then gradually i get that sort of car shape can you see that so out like that okay i think it's time to um Add the glue so you add a strip of glue at the tip get your paper clip out in fact I'm going to use two paper clips squeeze make sure the edges here are are uh, even and put on one clip here and one clip here and put the clips at the very very tip don't put them too far in just at the very very tip here so that you don't squeeze unnecessarily much in the in the front here okay keep on squeezing with you here now a nice uh, car curve here now when it's dry it will look like this now you may need to touch up a little bit of white paint at the tip uh, perhaps because it can get a bit uh, bit messy here in the gluing process but anyway this is roughly what you end up with now we are ready to cut the hole for the superhero in fact the hole to get into the car okay so i'm gonna measure okay let's push it down a bit so it's got the right shape okay i take the ruler and i measure about 4 cm from the back and then the opening is about slightly less than 6 cm so between there and there that's our opening then we draw an oval shape there about that size okay now we're going to cut this out and this is where we need to be careful so i'm going to take the smaller uh, paper paper tube the toilet roll inside not all the way down in here but just about this much just to support this a bit so it doesn't collapse when i cut okay so we hold here and we cut very steadily and slowly away from your hands and don't try to cut all the way through Go several times, two or three times, uh, until you get through the, um, the the cardboard. If you try to squeeze too hard or push too hard, uh, for starters, it's not safe. Secondly, your cardboard may collapse on you. It may collapse in like that, which is not good. So when you take it easy and do it several times, it's much better. Okay, so let's do it up here there now we lift this up hey what a nice shape <clears throat> there we have a nice opening for the car then we can take this out this was just a support anyway okay wonderful now <clears throat> let's decorate the car with some paint we're going to use black and find a medium sort of small brush and then we start well actually i mean i could go directly and paint but instead i think i'm gonna do a uh, sketch the, the um, some guidelines first this is the shape goes up like that and then straight up to the opening and then it goes out then there is a bit of black edge around uh, the seat of the of the car okay then in the middle here you get a circle and then a black semicircle uh, inside this semicircle. Okay. There. Now 
we are ready to paint. Dip it in, not too much, just uh, at the tip, because then you can control the paint better. And then let's start with the precision work around the semicircle here. Nice and controlled, nice and slow. Take it easy, be patient, and do a good job. Then we follow the pencil line up this way. Notice that I keep supporting the, uh, the car and my hand on the table so that I can draw uh, really controlled uh, lines, controlled movements. Now, when I get down to the tip, I add a bit of extra paint, filling the, um, the rough edge at the, at the tip here really well with paint on both sides like that and on the sides here yeah pay attention to all these little details that will make the car look a lot uh, nicer afterwards then when you get to this uh, level you uh, turn it around and you see you continue with the paint here same on the other side you continue around the side and then straight across there, nice. Then we continue with the sides of the of the opening of the car. Notice that I keep on changing position of my hand and the car itself. Everything to make it as easy as possible to control my movements and my brush strokes. Always supporting my hand against the table then it's also important to fill the, the the edges these rough edges really well with lots of paint i'll explain more about that in a second why we do that and we are also going to paint the inside of the car black so uh, after doing the edge you can also go around the edge and go a bit like this on the inside then you also do the same thing inside here so keep on painting all the way down with black then your car will look nicer and we, it will also be a lot stronger because when the paint dries uh, it makes the whole cardboard structure of the tube stronger you see so you can play harder and then the car will, uh, you know, um, survive more battles, more crazy superhero battles. Now, here is one that is dry. And as you can see, I have also painted the, um, the inside of this uh, circle black, like this. So, let's put this to the side and continue with this one. Now, I bring in the white and... Um, a smaller brush and I'm gonna do some details first the the headlamps two little white circles and then a stripe at the back there and then an an H inside the semicircle age for heroes hey nice okay now this needs to dry and then we're gonna do some other colors uh, in the meantime let's do the um, rocket wings now as you can see it's black paper so I'm gonna put in a piece of white paper underneath just to help you to see against my cutting mat uh, here Okay, I use a white um, color pencil, and then <clears throat> let's look at the shape of these wings, you see? You draw one like that, and then down like this way, and then you need about, you need about this much for folding the glue, the, the gluing fold. Then the same thing on the other side. And then the gluing fold here. Now you can see the, 
the size of these and these are flexible of course I mean you can use different sizes but if you want to know a measurement it's roughly seven centimeters long and uh, about four and a half wide okay so let's cut them out now you can use a cutting knife like like me or you can use scissors if you use a cutting knife keep your fingers far away from the cutting action and always cut away from your fingers okay let's pop them out one and two there then we fold and um, <clears throat> it's good to have a ruler to fold against then you will make a, uh, a cleaner straighter fold okay okay that's one can even use a ruler to press down and get uh, down a bit if you like okay now as you can see we have both the folds down like this so that you can imagine them fitting onto the side of the uh, of the car okay so let's glue them on not all the way to the back but a little bit in like this and roughly straight onto the sides so hold it for a while until the glue start to grab the side of the of the car right now uh, these wings are nice and dry let's continue painting i bring out the yellow paint and uh, a small brush and i just paint the headlights Now it's important that I painted white first because if you paint directly with yellow, uh, the black will show through. So you need a white base for your yellow color. So there, now it's nice and bright. Okay, let's uh, start with the rocket engine. You see, this engine goes in here, uh -uh, rocket, rocket. So let me show how to do that. You start with cutting some little triangles see there a nice little triangle that's what you need another one there and then you keep on doing that all the way around if you don't cut hard enough you gotta do it twice okay there the last one there now you have a nice uh, sort of rocket fire coming out from one end of this toilet roll. Okay, let's paint it. We start with white. The reason is that if you want your rocket fire to be nice and bright, you need a white base first. So let's do the white, white base. Now, this needs to dry so that we can continue painting with yellow. So I leave it like this for a second. Then we swap the paint and continue with the yellow. Same thing, cover the whole thing. Can you now see how bright and cheerful this yellow looks? That's exactly what you need for a proper rocket engine you see oh nice now when you have painted it and it's dry it will look like this so I'll just swap this in with a dry one so that we can continue with the other colors uh, let me do the um, orange and then we paint the sort of a zigzaggy pattern uh, at the end towards the, the fire pattern. I chose this zigzaggy pattern to create an illusion of sort of um, fire and rocket fire coming out from the back. There and finally I bring out the red and I paint 
the inside of the flame. Okay, it's done. Now, let's see how the rocket fits inside the back of the car. Okay, yeah, nice. Yes, very good. Now, if we bring in the uh, original car, can you see how this one is more shiny than that one? That's because I have lacquered it, you see? I have given it a coat of clear lacquer. First, uh, firstly, to protect it. And secondly, to give it that sort of nice, shiny polish like a real car would have. So let me show you how to put on the lacquer. But of course, you don't have to do that. But if you do have some lacquer around, you may consider uh, using it. Let me show you how. So I have some little bit of acrylic lacquer here. It's the same type of lacquer as they use for all uh, acrylic paints. You can even use it for paintings. So I, I bought this in an, um, in an art shop. Now, I dip a little bit. And then notice how the um, black color comes out and look much stronger when I add this, um, this lacquer. When the lacquer dries, you will get this really nice shiny effect. When you do lacquering, you have to work nice and slowly and make sure you cover e every single area and also make sure that you um, don't leave any, uh, any little puddles uh, lying around because, because you want the lacquer to be nice and smooth and even, an even coat of lacquer. Then your car will look really good. On my original, notice that I have painted it all black inside and put lacquer all around, even on the even on the wings. Okay, now time to take it for a drive. Oh yes! Now I have a special surprise for you. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to the driver. It's a brand new superhero called. Turbo Bananas! Yeah! He's a crazy banana boy! Okay, uh, he goes in here. So uh, <clears throat> you gotta squeeze a little bit to make sure that he fits into the, into the um, opening. Like that, you see? Straight up like this, push him all the way down. Now before he takes off, he needs a helmet. Of course, he needs to be safe when he, he's out driving. So, <laughs> here's his... Uh, turbo bananas helmet notice uh, how he changes his looks you see now he's kind of a nice college boy you know what I mean a nice cute boy but when he puts on his helmet he becomes turbo bananas there <laughs> yes uh, checking everything everything is clear Close is clear uh, uh, uh. Okay, then warming up, you know, putting on the ignition. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I just want to say thank you so much, my friend, for watching my channel, watching my videos. Uh, it's because of you that I am able to exist. 